But you can be pretty much whoever you want over here, you know? The sky's the limit. And a lot of people come overseas, especially Thailand, to rediscover themselves, right? Um, for us, we're just looking for a place to stretch our dollar a little farther and uh, be able to experience a lot more with money that we have but uh, for others it's uh, you know like a retreat as well coming to these places and reach their own reasons for coming and another thing is uh, definitely the the weather you know it's always nice here in Hua Hin in the morning it's, it's a little bit windy um, the Airbnb that we're staying at there's a train that comes by around five o'clock in the morning and then you hear the rooster in the background so an added reason to get up really early in the morning um, but we get up pretty early in the morning and, and the weather's pretty much like this all day long I mean I brought my rain jacket and I have not gotten sick yet and uh, you know we tried food from everywhere like even 7-eleven the street hawker uh, style foods and the restaurants tried everything seafood chicken beef uh, pork no restrictions really and I have not gotten sick just yet so that's pretty awesome I was able to adapt to the food pretty quickly and uh, if you ever run out of money there's all these ATM machines all over the place so uh, we actually got a credit card and a debit card that gives you dividends back and then there's also these uh, supermarkets you can just walk into and grab some pretty decent food as well. Um, they have Pops, they have Marcos, they have Tesco, and a whole bunch of uh, night markets and train markets and uh, uh, day markets, uh, wet markets. Did I mention that already? But there's tons of food in Thailand that you can choose from. A lot of variety. And uh, But if you don't really like Thai food, um, you'll be paying for Western food that's a lot more expensive. But overall, it's a lot slower pace of life, right? So if you're into that, uh, Hua Heng would be perfect for you. But if not, you can always go to uh, Bangkok, where actually when we went to Bangkok, I mean, it's a city of what, over 8 million people. It didn't seem as busy as the population uh, you know, suggests its population would be, but um, Bangkok wasn't too bad either but the accommodations for the hotels really range I mean there's the Marriott Resort Hua Hing um, if you have a good chunk of money you can stay here um, in comfort but um, the place we're staying at through Airbnb that's enough for us and uh, especially when we're traveling hopping from one country to the next Airbnb seems to be a good solution for that um, but of course uh, if you're planning to stay longer term for a particular place um, then it's probably better to just go out and buy some or sorry find a rental property for a longer term where you'll most likely be paying less and uh, the longer you stay the cheaper it actually is Here's the uh, bus station for uh, Hua Hing. This is uh, the place that we got off. Here's
some places that are 15,000, 17,000 per month. Pretty decent, it has a swimming pool, Wi-Fi. Here's one for 10,000 baht a month. You can also get like uh, three bedrooms, four bath, pool, villa for uh, 18,000 per month, a whole house. So this is a good place. Um, you have a, a group of people, you can share the cost and even lower the price even further on a monthly basis. I just ordered a large size uh, beef noodle soup here. I got my uh, utensils, chopsticks and a spoon. So I'm gonna give it a go. Uh, but there's fish ball and there's uh, of course beef bits and uh, this noodle too. Um, they actually gave us uh, a choice of two different types of noodles. Um, I got some of this noodle, the rice noodle instead of the instant noodle stuff. Um, but the broth is really, really dark in color. So I'm guessing it's dark because of uh, the blood, maybe. But uh, let me just give this a taste. I'm gonna have some of the noodles right now. Uh, oh yeah, it's not, it's not bad. It isn't spicy at all. Um, And the noodles are really fresh. It's little bits of uh, green onion as well. Let me try and uh, mix it up a little bit with meat and noodles together. Mm, not bad. So this uh, bowl of noodles was from uh, Blue Port Mall, which is a mall in Guahing. And uh, it was only 70 baht. So it's not too, too bad. You'd probably be paying like well over uh, $10 back home for this. So I'm gonna try some of this uh, fish-based noodle um, that my girlfriend got for uh, 40 baht. And uh, it's a mixture of uh, like bamboo shoots and uh, green pepper and uh, little bits of fish. And I think it's a little bit of a, uh, I'm not sure what this is actually. But it all looks very, very healthy and very affordable too. And of course there's the noodles as well. So I'm gonna try out the noodles first. It's a little bit spicy. Um, I can identify it as a uh, fish base for sure. It isn't really one of my favorite, to be honest with you. I'm not a big fan of uh, fish, but the bamboo is really good. I love it. It's full of taste. Almost tastes like uh, the vegetables were put inside a bowl full, full of uh, these spices and it was just uh, sitting there for a while made separately from the noodles i'm gonna try some of this green pepper mm. a little too spicy for me but not too bad But 
the air feels super fresh in here and refreshed. Um, it feels like the air has been filtered. I don't know how to explain it, but 